Hey everybody, Coke Man 250 here. Went to the flea market the other day, stopped by, and uh, picked up a couple things. Got this big old pot, granite ware, nine bucks. And uh, I figured it'd be a good pot to, uh, especially when I'm cleaning cleaning uh, deer or uh, butchering stuff be a good pot just throw it off into you know when I get the butchering station done and uh, one day it will be done <laughs> but uh, also I don't know if you've ever seen these forever sharp knives let's make sure I'm in here anyway you can see there I give 99 cents and they had three of these and I bought all three I only got one out here because I put the other two in the house uh, to use but I bought two of these from one of those, uh, I was at a Kmart about 15 years ago and had one of those demonstrator guys in there, you know, the fancy salesman with the mic, head mic and all that. And they were selling these and I bought two of these for 20 bucks. And I've been using these things for 15 years and they're still as sharp as the day I got it, no lie. I mean, I thought it was a gimmick, but uh, really, really awesome knives. So I bought three, all three they had at the flea market, <clears throat> and I'm going to keep one out here in the workshop for whatever, or, or I may put it back here with the butchering. I got a bag of stuff that I keep for butchering over here on the side. I'll probably just stick it in there, and this will stay at the butchering station. But also, and somebody may know what these are. I have no idea. But, uh... It's these bags of hardware for something. I don't know what it is, but uh, I gave 99 cents for a bag. And I, I opened one because I actually stole a bolt out of it the other day and used it. <clears throat> but I bought five bags of these for 99 cents a bag. And every one of them's got the same stuff in there. It's got this big, uh, big rod. And then it has two holders for that rod. And maybe it's like some kind of, I don't know what it is. You know, it looks like a boat tie off or something. I mean, you could use it for all kinds of stuff. But then it came with all these bolts and... And all these uh, washer nuts. Anyway, 99 cents a pack, whatever it goes to. I can use the hardware, and I'm sure I can find a use for that. those metal rods and those uh, brackets, whatever they are. Anyway, but I bought, I bought five packs, and they had probably another five. And I'll probably go back, and if they're still there, I'll probably grab them too. 99 cents? I mean, come on. But I hadn't been to a flea market in a while, and they actually, I go to this, I go, there's quite a few around here, but some of them are kind of high dollar. They uh, think their stuff's worth a whole lot more than it is. But uh, this one that I go to where I buy most of my stuff and all the stuff you see me in my flea market finds and videos and stuff like that is this one flea market uh, that I go to all the time. And I used to go all the time and it's, it's the same stuff. Well, I gave it a break and uh, I went up there and yeah, they had a lot of stuff I hadn't seen. A lot of new stuff. So it's pretty cool. But in uh, this granite, granite ware pan, man, it's huge. But uh, I thought it was pretty good. Flea market finds. Um, if you guys aren't going to the flea market, you know, if if you ain't even got to be a prepper or in the preparedness mindset, you know, go to the flea market to buy. If you're going to work on something and you know something you're going to work on, go check the flea markets if you got a project you're working on and see. Because a lot of times you're going to find stuff for that project, you know. But um, anyway, just thought I'd show you guys, and uh, that's a little flea market find. So 
This is Coke Man 250 from the land of the free and the home of the brave. God bless everybody. And remember, prep smarter and pray harder. All right, so I got you a playlist here. And it's how I built my cedar raised garden bed. Spring's right around the corner. And this may give you some ideas on how to build your own and just enough inspiration to go ahead and get it knocked out so you'll be ready for that springtime planting. If you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, go ahead and click that subscribe now banner. As always, thanks for watching and have a blessed day.